Today is something I can only describe as un-American. America once welcomed patriots from other lands, particularly from Ireland, who fled injustice, who fled persecution, who came to this country, who built a better life, who became law-abiding, respected, honored members, leaders of our community, political, saw politi and won political office, many of them. Malachi McAllister falls well within that vein, in that tradition. He came to the United States. He's been fighting for 24 years. He's become a leading member, a respected member of our community. Cardinal Dolan is behind him. Many senators and congressmen are behind him. Many law enforcement people are behind him. The entire Irish community is behind him. And yet our government feels obliged to send him back to the north of Ireland after so many years because the British said that it was criminal of him 24 years, so many years ago to fight against him, to fight for justice at a time when he was the victim of an assassination attempt along with his family. That's wrong. That's un-American. We're never going to forget this. He's got any number of stays on deportation. This case should have been resolved a long time ago, but we will never forget that this administration, at a time when he's injured, at a time when he has a broken collarbone, at a time when he needs medical attention for nerve damage, for those injuries, they said, no, it didn't matter. Malachi McAllister must go back today. We have to make any arrangement to send this man so respected, so supported, so honored by so many in the Irish community. He said no to us, said no to justice, said no to everything that America stands for. It's wrong. We're not going to forget it. We're not going to forget Maliki. We're going to fight to bring him back.